Hello, my name is Allison Darcy. I am the co-artistic director of Scapegoat Carnival, uh, an independent theater company in Chochage, otherwise known as Montreal, on the unceded lands of the Geningahaga Nation. Scapegoat Carnival is a contemporary, bilingual, multidisciplinary theater company with a strong interest in puppetry. We are currently touring our original production, Vertip. It's a French language production with English surtitles, and it features an actor and a wonderful cast of wooden, handcrafted puppets. The text deals with themes of anti-Semitism within folkloric traditions, and it's suitable for ages 10 and up. Several years ago, at Quebec City's International Winter Festival, there was an ice sculpture contest, and mixed in with the usual snow-carved moose was an ice sculpture of a hunched figure, bearded, hook-nosed, wearing a skull cap and clutching a money sack. Audiences warmly received the submission until a visiting Montreal family recognized the ethnic stereotype as a Jewish moneylenderer, an anti-Semitic trope that's plagued Jewish people since the Middle Ages. A controversy ensued. The artist defended the work, saying that it grew out of the Vertip, a Slavonic Christmas puppet show that depicted the nativity scene and characters such as the Cossack soldier and the Jew. Inspired by that, we created Vertip, a tragic comedy about a puppeteer living in a community center basement where he performs the annual Christmas puppet show, the Vertip, until Zid, the Jewish moneylender puppet, begins to move on his own, shaking his bag of coins. Concerned that Zid will ruin the show, the puppeteer secretly orders the Cossack soldier puppet to eliminate Zid, but his plan goes awry. The play addresses anti-Semitic symbolism in European folklore to raise questions about what to do with problematic traditions. At the same time, the piece creates an understanding for the main character, who lives on the margins, unaware of the hurtful imagery within his family's heritage. As Jewish artists of Eastern European descent, we notice anti-Semitism that's not always recognized by non-Jews. Dog whistles from the far right or unexamined cultural icons can be subtle or mistaken for harmless fun. No. Our piece playfully deconstructs these codes through puppetry and humor. Our collaborator, Sasha Samara, who as a Ukrainian immigrant remembers seeing the Vertip as a young man, performs the title role beautifully. Vertip was developed with support from Infinite Theatre, the Cole Foundation, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Conseil des Arts de l'Aide de Québec, and the Conseil des Arts de Montréal. It premiered at the International Puppet Festival, Festival de Castellier, in March of 2023, and then toured to Montreal to sold-out audiences. The play is performed in French, with English surtitles available upon request. It can be performed in Ukrainian or Russian as well. It's approximately 50 minutes long, and it's best received in an intimate setting with under 100 audience members. Our team on tour consists of a stage manager, our main performer, puppeteer, and an assistant stage manager who also has a little cameo. The set can be transported in the trunk of an average sized car and it's mounted and struck by the production members within a few hours. It can be performed inside a traditional theater, in an unconventional space, or outdoors. The performance space can be as small as 12 foot by 12 foot or fitted to a traditional stage. Their tip was written in English by Joseph Schrag and translated into French by Liliane Gourjean Moisson. I was the director, our puppet director and creator was Zach Fraser, and Sasha Samar played the role of Vertip, with a cameo by Leslie Velasquez. Thank you for taking time to consider Vertip. We really hope to collaborate with you in the future. Yeah.